Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this Axis VM training course. The topic for today will be the report maker. There are a lot of uh, concepts and commands and small functionalities about report maker, but uh, we can define it as a tool to compile a full report of a project using these functionalities that you have inside. We will create a very simple example showing the concept and uh, I think it will be enough for your understanding of how to use the report maker. To do so, uh, we need to have a model uh, with the calculation done with the results and then we can go to this icon here, uh, which is the report maker, or you can assess it also with the F12 uh, function key. But in here we have this report maker dialog box. We can work uh, with the report maker in two ways. We can open a template file, and we have templates already for different things. And uh, we can work, as we are going to show today, creating our own report. So, I will create a new report, I will give it a name. It doesn't matter which one, it's, for, it's uh, as an example. And simply create a new report. Uh, below I have a couple of things, I will delete them, they are not interesting. And now we will build the complete report that we want. So, in the report with the results, we can insert uh, different kinds of information. To show you some examples, I will go to the table browser and uh, we open all the tables that we have in table browser. We've seen them already. We can insert, as an example, we can go to model data, we can go to materials, and each time we want to include one of the tables on the report. So the table of materials, I simply say include it. For example, the cross sections also uh, include it. And uh, we can go below for the beams if, if we want, include it uh, for the loads. We want, if we have load cases, beam loads, whatever we want, include it. So we can go and uh, include what we want to the report. When we are happy uh, with what we want inside, we do OK. And we can have also images of uh, what we want inside the report. To do so, we, we will create the position we want, for example, uh, regarding this, uh, this definition, this display that we have currently. And if it is this what we want, then simply save this image. We can uh, give it a name, I will say A, and simply do OK. If we want, for example, uh, shading mode, let us do another name and call it B, and so on. So we can have multiple displays on this with different kinds of diagrams. I'm not sure if the, this has some isometric lines or not. I'm Okay, we have something done around here. I'm not sure what. But I will not. I will not go to to that way. So we can choose from different things, from from the results. We can choose different options and simply create the images. We can go also, for example, to RC Design. We can choose this kind of dialog boxes uh, for uh, this analysis, and we have also the possibility to create an image and create another another one to the to the list i'm not sure what was the last name so i will call it a d and to the okay so this is the concept creating 
data to include on the report from the tables and creating images. When we are OK with information, so we go to the report, we can see on the list that we have already information from the tables. We can edit um, the title and put some comments if needed, no big problem. And we have the images below, which when we choose uh, the, the content or the group, we can say this image, we can push it up and it will go inside this cross section. For example, the beams, let us say this one, include it, and the last one, the D, include it here. And basically, that's it. Let us see how it looks to do a preview. <coughs> um, the start, so this cover, this is a, a content, let's make this a little bigger. This is the content, and then we see that we have already, I will reduce it a little to 80%. So the tables, we include the images, it has a table and the image, so it's uh, one after the other, and that's it. We can manipulate this in another way, for example, after this image, I can include um, test, I can say uh, cat soft, for example, whatever I want, I can give it a something like this and include the text here. Uh, after the other image, I can include, for example, um, a page break, so it's another possibility. So I can do a lot of things basically, and I can see now the result of these changes. So as you can see, we can start again. So um, the text gets soft. Uh, I'm not sure what, where it is the page break. I think it was. In, in this one, I can include a page break after the cat soft so that is visible. So cat soft and now page break here. And let us do now the creation of the report to see if it worked or not. Okay, cat soft and a page break and a new page there. So there are a lot of possibilities to work uh, with this creation of the report. When I'm done, I can print it or I can move it to a word format because I was simply doing um, a preview. But I think with these highlights, uh, we can, uh, you can see what is the concept of working with the report maker. Any help you may need about this topic, you can uh, ask us for support. But uh, I, I say this many times and I will repeat it in the end of this video. There are details because uh, I skip some details about this, this topic. There are details uh, about it on uh, Area 51, which is our uh, online space where we share exercises and other type of information. So if you want to uh, assess those details, let us know and we will uh, teach you how to assess it.